my channel, everybody. Today I'm bringing to you a highly requested video. I am doing a cook with me for my chicken pot pie. I use the two ingredient dough for my crust and take the classic recipe of a chicken pot pie and make it Weight Watchers friendly. So one serving of the chicken pot pie is two points. When you go up to two, it is five points. If you do everything that I do and stick it into your recipe builder, it will uh, tell you the portion size and the point size if you go over and above. If you guys do your own variations, obviously just accommodate the points for that. You can totally do your own thing with this recipe. It's super versatile, but I just love this recipe. It is really good. I'm going to leave the recipe and the directions down below, so if you guys want to recreate this, you can. So without further ado, we're going to get into the video. All right, we are going to start cooking our chicken. I'm going to put about two or three chicken breasts in here. I'm going to just steam them and cook them up a bit before I put all the other ingredients in. Added a bit of water just to help cook the chicken. And then I'm just going to place a lid on it to steam it. You can cook your chicken however you want, but this is how I cook my chicken to prep for this meal. While that is cooking, we're going to be making our dough. I have already put one cup of plain fat-free Greek yogurt in there. And if you hear something sizzling, obviously it's the chicken cooking. I'm going to be adding one cup of flour. Also add a touch of salt. And then I'm just going to combine until everything is mixed together. Once your dough is made, you're going to divide this into eight servings. Um, what I do is weigh my dough and then just divide it by eight. So for me, it's going to be about 46 grams. Just make sure you do measure it because our um, weights might be a little bit off, just depending on um, if you use a little bit more or a little bit less than me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and divide this into eight equal parts, and we'll be back after that. So I have my eight servings here. I put a little bit of flour on each of them because, like you all know, this two-ingredient dough gets pretty sticky. So I'm going to flatten all these out so they can fit in my ramekins, um, and we'll see you guys when it's all done. So I like to put a little bit of flour, again, on top and on my rolling pin. When they go into the oven, they do thicken up. So you're going to want to make them as flat as you can. And basically just the shape um, to place them in the ramekin. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so we're ready to put our dough into our ramekins. If you don't want to use a ramekin, you can use whatever. As long as it comes out to eight portions or just accommodate for the portion size you make them. So I'm just going to put a little bit of spray in so it doesn't stick. And then we're just going to go ahead and place the dough into the ramekins. Now I like to press it firm against the sides and edges and as well as the bottoms. Like I said, this will rise a bit um, as it cooks. So just want to make sure that everything is covered. If you don't have some that covers the ramekins or there's edges that don't meet, you can always just push the dough together and kind of mold it to your liking. So these are all ready to be put in the oven. I'm going to bake these for about 10 minutes without the mixture in it just to get them a bit hard and just cook them prior to putting the pot pie filling in. So again, 350 for 10 minutes and I'll see you guys when it's all done. All right, so the chicken is done cooking. You can leave it a little bit um, undercooked, just a little bit pink because it will be cooking back into the oven. So that's what I've done. Um, I've went ahead and shredded the chicken. So now we're going to make the rest of our filling. I'm going to be adding in some mixed veggies. If you don't like certain types of veggies, you can omit whatever you don't like. But this is the Green Giant brand, and there is peas, corn, carrots, and beans. So we're going to go ahead and add two cups of this. You want to add one can of low-fat cream of chicken. One teaspoon of ground thyme. You can add more or less depending on preference. Um, I'm not a huge fan of thyme. It does give a lot of flavor in this dish. We're going to put in half a teaspoon of celery salt. Now because these are so convenient, I am using the minced garlic. I'm going to put half a teaspoon in, which is equivalent to one clove of garlic. And then the same goes for this. I'm going to put one teaspoon in of the toasted onion, and this is equivalent to a quarter cup of onions. I go ahead and mix this all together and see if I need to add any water. Because the vegetables are frozen, that will give off a bit of water, so I don't want to put too much water into this. 
You don't want it super runny. You actually want it more on the um, kind of like creamier side. All right, so I like that consistency. If you like your pot pies a bit more runnier, go ahead and add water, but this is how I like it. I'm gonna add in some salt and pepper for taste. All right, so I'm gonna let this cook until my pie shells are done in the oven, so for about 10 minutes, um, and then we'll see you guys when we're ready to fill them. All right, so these have been in the oven for 10 minutes. As you can see, they have cooked a bit and they have risen. So we are going to go ahead and fill them up with the pot pie mixture. We're gonna be using about a third cup in each ramekin. I actually forgot to mention that you can add some spray butter. So I've already poured that one, but I'm going to go ahead and add this to the rest of um, the shells. All right, so they are all done. I just like to pat them down a little bit with a spoon just to ensure that they're all set in there properly. I did end up having a little bit of leftover mixture, so I just divided them between the eight of them. So really the serving of the filling in each is a little bit over a third of a cup. It really all depends on like how much chicken you decide to put in. Usually put two to three chicken breasts and um, depending on their size, it could vary. All right, we're going to pop these back into the oven for 10 minutes. If your oven temperatures vary, just keep an eye on them. Basically, you're just wanting to brown the crust because the filling is already cooked. So we'll see you guys when this is all done. That is the end of the cook with me. This recipe is super simple. You can keep these in the fridge up to five days. I haven't gone over and above five days. I'm sure, it would last longer than five days. You can even freeze these. I just like to have them in the fridge um, just to quickly grab and go because one is only two points. That is a really good deal considering how big the pot pies are. Obviously, with everybody's ovens, they may be different. If you want your crust a bit crispier, obviously keep it in longer. If not, um, you can keep it in less time. The times that I told you were the times in my oven, obviously, so just keep an eye on yours. If you guys make this, be sure to tag me in Instagram so I can see how you recreated this. Um, or leave me a comment down below. If you guys want to see more Cook With Me's, give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any requests, leave them down below. But I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.